Welcome back. It's day seven of our 31 day posting challenge. Today we're just taking a look back at the week, how I did and how I think about things. We're gonna get DC on the phone from yesterday's video and talk to him and see what he thought as well. Let's jump in. The last seven days have been challenging to be honest. I've never tried to post seven videos for seven days, yet alone 31 videos for 31 days like I'm trying to do for the entire month. I'm excited to finish out the challenge and I think I'm gonna be able to do it. I've realized that I need to work more on my organization. I had a plan to batch film and film multiple videos in one day and I've fallen behind and been filming videos on the same day just to rush to get them up at the end. So I need to utilize my time better because I freelance for most of my work and I can make my own hours, but I've been spending more time on this than I'd like to and I wanna be able to optimize my time to the fullest. Let's talk to DC and see what he thinks. DC, what do you think of my videos from this week and what can I work on? Well, I really like what you're uh, what you're doing there, Brad. Um, and I feel that the video um, that you posted yesterday, the one that had me in it, was the best one so far. Not because I was in it, but because it told a little bit more of a cohesive story. And I kind of just wanted to see exactly um, what you're going to be doing. So I was kind of invested in the video. And that's an important point to make. Actually, by the end, when I went back and rewatched it, there's a certain section that I took and posted on TikTok. I really liked that part and I wouldn't have been able to do that two years ago. And that was kind of my point, learning and challenging yourself in yesterday's video. And I can't say that I hate the video. So I can agree with you on that. It tells a nice story and it has a nice buildup for so, especially something where I had footage that was lacking. I definitely do think one thing, like you should always make sure you keep your eye, the eye on the ball, I guess is the technical term. Um, and making sure that you have a cohesive idea of what you're trying to say, what you're trying to convey, you know what I mean? Yeah. Your video. Okay. I appreciate the feedback, D. Um, I'm going to try to implement that in the future videos this month and especially coming into the future. February is going to be interesting because it's going to be about slowing down and more quality instead of what I'm doing right now with quantity. So it's stuff to keep in mind. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm excited to see your new stuff. Thank you, man. After talking to DC, I have to agree with him. I know I said yesterday in the video, I hate this footage, but I liked the end result of the edit, and that was the whole point of it, to take footage I didn't like, challenge myself, and see what I get. The end results weren't amazing, but I learned and I'm growing off of it. The whole point of this 31 day challenge is to see how I grow, to see what I need to stop doing, to see what I should start doing, to see what the audience likes, and to see what I like. And I'm gonna start implementing those things into my future videos, and overall enjoy the process and hope you guys do too. I'm Brad G Media. I hope you guys had a fantastic day today. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.